you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. It's a pattern, and then I've added all sorts of nail art decorations on the bottom. And on the ring finger and on the thumbs, I've added a little bit more over on the length of the nail. Uh, so you can go ahead and do without this unless you want to add it, then you can add it as well. I'm going to be showing you guys the nail art design on a practice finger. So the first thing you're going to do is start off with a French manicure in the color of your choice. Followed by that you're going to get a white nail art polish or also of your choice, any one you want. And what we're going to do is a series of stripes. I'm going to thin out my brush and the stripes we're going to be doing with the white are going to be uh, kind of thick. You don't want them to be very thin. So you're going to start in the corner of the French manicure and you're going to bring it all the way across. So they're not very thin and you can even go thicker than that if you'd like. I'm going to thin out my brush again and I'm going to be uh, making sort of like an X. So I'm going to start over on this area here and I'm going to go straight across to the other side. So all we've done here is the letter X. That's all we've done there. We're going to add one more stripe. I'm thinning out my brush. And I'm going to start in the corner of the X. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up. So all we've done is an X and a, a side line. So we're done with our white nail art polish. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, outlining the white stripes we just made. So I'm going to get my black nail art polish and these stripes have to be um, a little bit thinner than the white one. Well actually a lot thinner because we're just going to be outlining them. So I'm, I've thinned out my nail art polish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this first one, then I'm going to outline the other side. So all we've done is outline the first stripe. What we're going to do with the second stripe is, I'm going to thin out my brush again, and what we're going to do with the this bottom one here, we're not going to be doing the whole way uh, from side to side. I'm going to start here and I'm going to outline just up to there. I'm going to start here and just outline up to there. We've just done that little um, piece. On this side we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to start here and go up to there, here, and just go up to there. So it looks like the top stripe is going above the bottom one. So now we're going to outline the entire side one from one side to the other. And that's all we've done there. That's um, the first thing you, this nail art consists of. Those two X's we did and then, um, then the outlining of them. The next thing we're going to move to is going to be the yellow nail art polish. Of course you could choose the polish of your choice. I'm going to outline, we're going to do the same exact thing except in thinner stripes and we're going to go the opposite way. So I'm going to thin out my nail art polish because we don't want these stripes to be very thick. So I'm thinning out my nail art polish and this one's a little bit gooey. So I'm going to start in the opposite side and I'm going to go straight across. That's all we've done. We've gone straight across. I'm going to dip again thin out my nail art polish and I'm going to start in between here and I'm crossing the yellow. So we've done an X as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to remember we did with the white a little one that was by itself over on that area. That's the same thing we're going to do but on the opposite direction. So now I've thinned out my yellow nail art polish and on the tip of the yellow, let me see, right there, on the tip of the yellow I'm going to touch and bring out. So that's the background we're going to be working with our French manicure and right there alone you could already be done. That's already very pretty and you could just be done. The next thing uh, you can do if you don't want to leave it as is, you can add uh, rhinestones to finish off the nail art look. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add, um, I'm not going to show you all of this that I did because I tried doing, showing it and it was an over 14 minute long video and I didn't want it to be that long. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it with a silver polish, uh, silver glitter nail art polish of your choice and all I'm going to do is outline it and it looks very pretty and you pretty much 
get the same look um, as you would that you're trying to go for. And it doesn't have to be so blinged out. You can just um, finish it off like this. And like I said, you don't even have to finish it off with the silver. You can just finish it off with um, the rhinestones. Or you don't even have to finish it off with anything. But the pattern's what I wanted to show you guys. What I did here, let me show you what I used. Um, on my finger, but this is exactly what I did on my finger for the French manicure area. What I did, I used these sorts of little nail art decorations. I used the little octagon ones, I used the little hairy ones, and I used a couple of rhinestones, and like I said, I only blinged out um, my ring finger and then my two thumbs. And the rest, I wanted the pattern to show. But I showed you how to do the pattern, so it's up to you to decide what you're going to finish off your... Um, French manicure with. I hope you guys like this design and try it out using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!